Hello everyone, and welcome back to Signs of the Sojourner. So, it's time to head back to home sweet home and see what the best bodega in the region has been up to while we've been gone. Are you sure you want to return home? This will end your current trip and you won't be able to leave again until after you unpack your items. Sure. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. And we can also get rid of our fatigue cards, right? <laughs> if I remember correctly. The game said something about when you head back home, you can get rid of your fatigue. Hi, stranger. He's slicing an apple with a pocket knife. Perhaps you shouldn't talk to him. Yeah, perhaps, since he has cards that we haven't even seen yet. Well, I mean, we've seen a diamond card before, or we've seen someone who prefers diamonds before. But I don't have any of those cards, so instead, let's go talk to Elias. Let's go talk to Bestie, see what he's up to. You find Elias at home sitting on the floor surrounded by craft materials. Glue, markers, cardstock, thin polyesterine sheets. He looks exhausted. Aw, what's up? The arts and crafts really tuckering you out? Okay. Hey, hey, look who made it back in one piece. While you were gone, I made something you can stock in the store. Barto key rings. People love souvenirs. Looks like you got plenty of stuff for the store already, but these will be popular. They'll make good mementos to help travelers remember Barto. You don't owe me this time, <laughs> unless they're really popular. Oh, and you won't believe what else I found while you were gone. Check it out. Your mom's old locket. The one we got in a fight over? Wow. Are we going to get into a fight over it again? <laughs> I could just throw the conversation. <laughs> so we fight over it again, and it's like we've learned absolutely nothing <laughs> from last time. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to throw the conversation just for the sake of a goof. At least not this time. Probably not next time either. It'd be really funny, but no, <laughs> can't do that. Okay. Don't worry. I won't get upset with you for taking it this time. In fact, I think you should. A good luck charm of your own. You might need it out on the road. Yeah, maybe we could glean some information from it. You know, maybe there's something in there that could help us learn more about mom. Anyway, how was the caravan? Did Nadine say anything else about Bartow or your mom? You didn't have to break the news to anyone, did you? I bet rumors probably spread fast on the road. Yeah, luckily we didn't have to break the news to anyone. That would have been really awkward. <laughs> you know? Like, I guess it depends. It really depends on the person and how they take that kind of news. But yeah, I, I still feel like it would have been kind of uh, unfortunate if we had to explain that to someone. You managed to get Nadine to tell you more? That's impressive. You're a natural. I wonder what the Rilkers have got to do with your mom. They've got ties all over the place from what I hear. No wonder they're able to pressure the caravan. Yeah, it's kind of problematic, don't you think? <laughs> that one group of people have that much power? Anyways, at least unchecked power. I gotta say, Nadine kind of intimidates me. But maybe there's more to her than meets the eye. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I like her so far. I definitely feel like, you know, if she had to choose between, like, us and the caravan or Bartow and the caravan, she's gonna choose the caravan, understandably. You know, it feels like the caravan is kind of her life. Uh, I don't have any cards that match, but it should be fine, because we have the Accord. But, uh, I guess the takeaway from that is, you know, if she has to choose between us and the caravan or Bartow and the caravan, she's gonna choose the caravan. So I guess the best thing we can do is, you know, help her not have to make that choice, hopefully. I guess you have to be tough to make it out there on the road, kind of like your mom was. Yeah, you gotta be one tough cookie. This is a long conversation. Then again, I guess we do have a lot of catching up to do. Sounds like they butted heads. I'm still not sure I trust Nadine. Rilkers or no Rilkers, it'd be real bad for lots of good people if the caravan stopped coming here. And that's the part that's the most messed up. <laughs> like, I think I said it before, but it, like, I don't understand how someone could, you know, in full conscious, you know, just willingly cut an entire town of people off of a caravan route, a town that really needs the caravan. Like, how could you cut them from the route just because you had beef with one person? How does that make sense? It doesn't. Anyways, we got to keep the store doing well so that there's no excuse for them to drop Bartow from the route. And that's also, like, kind of upsetting, too, you know, because of what happened between our mom and the Rilkers. Like, now we kind of have to deal with the aftermath, which is kind of sometimes how these things go. So it, it makes sense, but it still kind of sucks. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do this. 
there we go. Luckily, we're not doing it on our own, though. We have Elias with us, so hopefully that'll make things easier. Whatever. I won't make a fuss when Nadine comes around. Maybe. But she's not some authority on your mom. No, of course not. Okay. Elias is bursting with excitement over the store. Hopefully these key rings will be a hit. Everyone has keys, right? It's just a fact of life. Absolutely. I have keys. If I could, I would take a key ring with me, but I can't. So instead, <laughs> let's take the accommodate card with us. Uh, and we'll switch it out for... I don't know. What do I want to switch it out for? I feel like I have a lot of triangle cards. Which triangle cards are getting pretty popular towards the end of our route. So I feel like we should probably keep them. But I don't know if the game like resets, if that makes sense. Like when we're here, it feels like circle cards are more popular in Bartow. But then as you progress and as you travel, other cards become more popular. So I don't know if it does like that reset every time. And every time you come back to Bartow, you kind of have to reset your deck along with the town, if that makes sense. Or like, you know, as you progress, like, you know, people in Bartow will start to get different types of cards. I guess that's the point of the stranger. So I think we should probably keep our triangle card or at least as many triangle cards as we can. Uh, and we'll switch it out. Let's switch it out for a circle triangle card. I feel like that makes sense. Yeah, because I have two of those. Okay, cool. I'm still not talking to you. <laughs> Let's just head on out. Let's head back to the store and unpack. Okay, Elias wants to hang out. Neat. So we have our roasted nuts. We have our licorice. We have our key rings and we have our matcha. It's a full house, a full set, a full store. Okay. I wonder how much stuff our mom used to bring back. And there goes the fatigue cards. Thank you. <laughs> that was the part I was looking forward to the most. Okay. Did we stop and grab a drink together? You and Elias catch up, picking up right where you left off. You tell him about your first time in the quaint town of Aldhurst. He tells you how proud he is that the store's grand reopening was a success. Praising you for stocking an impressive four items. Will it be enough for the caravan to stand up to the Rilkers? Find out! Exactly right now. <laughs> Find out in this episode. Uh, okay. So we sold out of our roast nuts from Clifton. The solar technician wax poetic about the sun in Clifton while picking up his groceries. Oh. So, depending on who comes to our store, we can find more information. Maybe some shortcuts? That would be good to know. Okay, the school teacher bought licorice for her students. <laughs> Elias, what are you doing? A man wearing a hat and sunglasses bought a Bartow keyring, praising the artistry in a deep voice. <laughs> That's great, because <laughs> I already gave him a deep voice, so it was just his normal voice. <laughs> so he came in with a hat and sunglasses and was like, oh wow, these, these key rings, they're beautiful. What artistry? And it's like, Dude, we know it's you. That's your voice. <laughs> we know it's you, Elias. You have a deep voice. That's hilarious. Okay. Didn't really pan out all that well, but still. That would be hilarious if he thinks it's a deep voice and it's like, that's just your normal voice, dude. Anyways. The hydroponic farmer bought the matcha to study, hoping to improve his own tea crops. Neat. Okay. I mean, I guess most people would use it for consumption, but that's actually kind of cool that it was like, no, I'm actually going to use it to, you know, make some better crops, hopefully. All right. Oh, we have a lot of people to talk to. Well, not a lot. I still can't talk to you, but still more people than I was expecting. So let's go talk to Elias first, see what he's up to. You locate Elias by following the sound of a woodwind instrument. He's standing on a rock performing for an empty field. You've never seen him use an instrument in his life. <laughs> okay. Why is he using one now then? I need your help. I told Samuel I'd perform for his big event at the roadhouse. We're gonna pull so many visitors, we won't even need the caravan. Maybe. But I'm not a musician. Okay. Uh, then where'd you get the woodwind instrument? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, here we go. Okay. So, why, if you're not a mu- like, I'm confused. Why, if you're not a musician, are you playing a woodwind instrument? Are you picking up a new hobby? Arts and crafts and music? Just a whole bunch of new hobbies all at once? Seriously, I only have this plastic recorder. I can't go on stage with this. I'd die right there on the spot. Yeah, that would be kind of embarrassing if someone who used to play the plastic recorder. They're not the most soothing instruments and not the most fun to listen to. 
if you find any instruments on the road, please grab them for me. Not for free, of course. I'm good for it. Yeah, we know. Maybe you can find something at the big Aldhurst cook-off festival. Your mom used to bring back the best toys from that. I mean, I'm too old for toys now, of course, but they sell instruments there too. Are you sure you don't want me to pick up a toy while I'm there? <laughs> I mean, no judgment, you know? I feel like toys can be for everyone. Never too old for toys. Okay. Um... I don't know what to do here. I guess there's only one thing to do here. But I don't know if I want to set it in between, or if I want to set it at the end. I guess I'll set it at the end. There we go, and then we can get an accord going. Nice. Oh, that's the end of the conversation. Okay. In the meantime, I'll just practice with this recorder, as a worst case scenario. Just remember, you're not alone. We're doing what we can to keep this town on the caravan route, too. Yeah, I know everyone's trying their best. Okay. This behavior is unusual for Elias, this desperation for new experiences. Your promises alleviate his worries, at least for the moment. Aww. I mean, I'm sure it's hard for him. His best friend is, like, leaving town every other month, you know? So, or every month? I don't know. Uh, so, I'm sure, like, you know, he's kinda, he kinda wants to do something, too. He's probably feeling a little restless, and so we get to go out and explore the world, and he's still here. He kinda wants to try some new stuff, too. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and grab an accommodate card. Like, I really like these. They come in handy pretty often. Uh, especially since we use a lot of, like, the double cards. Like, the cards that have the same shape on both sides. Um, do I want to replace one of those cards with that, though? Like, do I want to replace one of my double cards for the accommodate card? I guess so. Yeah, because effectively it's kind of like the same card. This one's obviously better because it can turn into whatever card you need. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Go talk to Nadine. See what she's up to. Nadine is checking with the caravaners, kicking tires and preparing for the road ahead. Checking the tire pressure. That's good. That's good. Okay. If you ride with the caravan this time, it's the full route. No training wheels. Think you can handle that? I usually expect folks to be more experienced before taking them along. I'm making an exception here. I won't hold your hand. I can help you around Rimina, but I've got to look out for everyone else too. Okay, where is Rimina? Is it out past Old Moray? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, if I remember correctly, you like circle cards. Yeah, that stuck with me. It's been a couple days since I played, but I do remember that you like circle cards. So we'll keep this going. What card is that? It has triangles and circles on both sides. It can be whatever card you need it to be. I like that card. Can I have that card? Are we gonna get that card? Is that a possibility? Oh, I would like that very much so. Wait, if I use the Accommodate card, it becomes the same card! <laughs> That's the whole point of the Accommodate card, but still! Now when we start the next conversation, it doesn't matter what card she chooses, because our card can be whatever we need it to be. That's so dope. Oh, I want that card. <laughs> Anyways, the road from Aldhurst to Rimna is mountainous. Be prepared. I came by the store earlier. Not bad. If you keep this up, Barto might stay on the route after all. Believe it or not, I have faith in you. You made it to Aldhurst on your first time out. It's a promising start. Thanks. I feel like praise is really hard to come by with you, so that means a lot. Um... Okay. Hopefully this is the card to use? Okay. So you can see my deck, so you understand what I'm working with here. So maybe, just maybe, go easy on me? Oh, what is that? Prepare. Choose which card from your deck you will draw next. Your whole deck? Or just like a select few? That'd be super OP if it's like, okay, here's your whole deck. Choose whatever card you want. That could also come in handy. Can I get that with like the, <laughs> the card that has like both symbols on both sides? Can we get that ability with that card? Huh, that would be the most OP. Anyways, you know, you are welcome to ride with us, but I won't lie and say the caravan is always the easiest route. It's good for providing safety and expertise, but it's a long road. You'll get a good haul, but you'll be exhausted by the end. And I'll get you there, but it's on you to acquire the goods you need. Just remember, you can't please everyone, and you'll have a hard time on the road if you try to. 
Yeah, that's going to be the hardest part of the game, because I'm a little bit of a people pleaser, so it's going to be frustrating, you know, whenever we have a bad interaction with someone. Anyway, she nods to herself as she gives your truck a once-over and continues with her inspections. And I guess that's true. Ooh. Oh, I don't know which one I want more. I guess I kind of- I definitely want the card with, like, the shapes on both sides, with the circles and the triangles on both sides. I definitely want that one. I think I'll switch it out for, like, a circle triangle or a triangle circle. Let's switch it out for a triangle circle. Um, like, we're familiar with the route. So I guess, like, technically we can go out on our own, you know? I feel like we should be okay. It's just going out to Rimna. We would probably want to be with the caravan. I don't know. We'll see what happens when we look at the map. Let's go talk to Samuel. Who's Samuel? <laughs> Samuel's out back by the smoker, flipping an enormous rack of ribs with his bare hands. He's been at it so long he barely feels the flames. He wipes his greasy mitts on his apron and then rushes over to give you a bear hug. Those are the best kind of hugs. I love bear hugs. Oh. The only thing that could one-up those is actually hugging a bear. <laughs> like, I want to hug a bear so bad. But at the same time, I feel like that'd be a very dangerous experience and probably not the best idea. So the bear hugs, like, you know, like these kind of bear hugs <laughs> are probably the closest I'm ever going to get to an actual bear hug. Anyways, uh, there you are, kiddo. <laughs> I was starting to think you'd forgotten about your old pal Samuel. I was trying to think, I was like, what kind of voice have I not done yet? That also suits Samuel. Haven't seen you around much lately. Not since... well, not since the funeral. Yeah, that was kind of rough, huh? Not such a fun time. Uh... okay, I don't know what kind of cards you like, so let's just give you all the options. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then we'll use an Accommodate card. There we go. Like, at least for now, I want to try to have a deck that's, like, able to accommodate to other people as much as possible. At least until I get a sense of what they're like and what kind of cards they use the most. And then once we become more familiar with the characters and, you know, their personalities, then maybe I can start, like, trying to form a deck that kind of suits more situations or, you know is more suited for the characters. I don't know. It's kind of difficult to do that, but I feel like just having a deck that hopefully can kind of, like, branch all the options is the best kind of deck to have, at least for now. Anyways. Yep. Losing your mom left a giant-sized hole in this town, that's for sure. Everyone's been so damned down, including myself. And the fact that business has been so slow around here lately, well, that don't help things much either. It's good to mourn. But let it go on too long. Then it becomes a mope. That's not good. Not what your mom would have wanted. No, she won't want people to mope. Okay. Been thinking. Bartow could really use a kickstart. A pick-me-up, if you will. A night of fun and dancing right here at the roadhouse. To rejuvenate the town and hopefully even bring in some new customers. What do you think? Sounds like a good plan. Okay. I like the way you think, Samuel. Nothing but some fun times to help lighten the mood, pick things up. Already spoke to Elias about organizing a show portion of the evening, and guess what? He's planning on doing a special performance. Didn't realize he knew how to play any instruments, but hey, that kid is full of surprises. That he is. It's quite impressive. Okay. He's a man of many talents. I'm also going to be cooking up something special for the occasion. But oh, that reminds me. Think you could help me stock up on my secret ingredient? Oh, really? What is that? I can only imagine. I have no idea what it could be. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Oh, what is that? Chatter allows you to immediately play another card. So you could just have, like, a one-sided conversation? You could just talk to yourself the entire conversation? That is hilarious. <laughs> it's not even a conversation, it's just a monologue. So what happens if you use it at the end of a, of a conversation? Do you just start the next conversation too? I guess so. That's awesome. That's hilarious, but it's also awesome. Okay. Seems like it would be useful. Around Rimna, this one fellow ferments his own vinegar. I used to cook with it when I lived out east. Taste can't be beat. Thanks, kiddo. It's good to see you holding down the fort. I know it's hard, but we'll all get through this together. Yeah. 
Through the power of teamwork. Okay. Samuel's jubilant disposition is infectious. He sends you on your way, but not before giving you another hug and a handful of smoked ribs. Okay. So we need to get vinegar from Remna, and we need to get an instrument for Elias when we go to Althurst. I'll try my best to remember that. Okay. Let's go ahead and take the chatter card. Do I have a card I can switch it out with? Yeah. We'll switch it out with the normal card. Okay. Cool. I guess we'll go ahead and move on. See what else there is to see. Okay. So I'm assuming the last trip is like the end of the game. But I'm curious on how that's going to work. Is there going to be like a time skip? You know, by the time we make it to the last trip? Maybe. Okay. Our calendar is way more full than what it was before. Okay. So the community cook-off lasts a week. Oh. Wait. The caravan will be in Aldhurst from the 17th to the 19th. Oh. I see. If I'm reading this right, I think I'm reading this right. So the caravan will leave on the 19th so they can get to Rimna by the 23rd. But that means that they'll have to leave Aldhurst before the cook-off. So are we going to have to stay behind for the cook-off? Maybe. Okay. Oh, but then... If we do that, then will we be able to get to Rimna by ourselves? I guess so. Because, like, we have the actual trail for it. So I guess we could do that? I think we'll do that. Okay. Because, like, I was like, is it going to be a situation where we have to choose between the instrument or the vinegar? I hope the game isn't going to make me do that. I hope the game isn't going to make me choose. Because I'd like to get both. Hopefully we can get both. If I have to, I'll choose the vinegar. Because, like, I feel like, you know... It wouldn't be the most ideal situation, but I feel like Elias would forgive us. But at the same time, I feel like the vinegar would be pretty important for the cooking. I don't know. We'll see how it pans out. Um, oh, and we can also take a shortcut if we want to. I just started clicking randomly and wasn't paying attention to where I was clicking. Um, so we can head to Clifton and get ahead of the caravan. And then we won't be as tired. So we'd probably be able to make it to Rimna better. I kind of want to do that. Okay. On the next trip, I'll definitely visit Pachanko, but I also don't want to be too tired since this is our first full trip, so I'd rather play it safe and take some shortcuts where we can. Anyways, on this visit, there's more time to observe the distant beauty around Clifton, the rows of sheer cliff faces, portraits of sedimentation built through the centuries. Must be why so many rooftops here have chairs and tables. That'd be kind of cool. Like, there are some houses here in Florida that have flat roofs, but I don't ever see anyone doing anything like that. That'd be kind of fun, now that I think about it. <laughs> I wonder why no one does that here. Anyways, a curious spider of all the merchants in Clifton, Klaus runs the only entirely empty stall that nonetheless remains open for business. From appearances alone, it's not clear what that business is. Confused tourists scan the stall and walk on. So she doesn't have anything? Did she... Did she get sold out? Maybe? Maybe someone already bought all her stock? Does the road treat you well? Forgive me, I can't help but notice you travel so empty-handed. Well, I was hoping maybe you could fix that, but it's not sounding like it. I'm afraid I'm fresh out of roasted nuts, supply issues, and so on. Nothing to be done about it in these times. Hmm, okay. I mean, we also still have to get supplies for the store. So, you know. Hopefully we'll- oh, okay. Hopefully we'll do better in the next town. Hopefully the next town will have something for us. Keep our fingers crossed. Okay. They come for us all, don't they? The hard times. Some of us more than others. How easily some recover. Yeah. Okay. Can feel a bit unfair sometimes, but I guess it just depends on the person in the situation. The wonders of this world never cease, to be sure. You know, Clifton isn't my home. I travel much like yourself. Really? I guess I kind of get that vibe from you. Okay. A traveler. Just like us. Uh, let's go ahead and use the accommodate card. There we go. Okay. It feels so weird, too, being in the town without the caravan. Oh, that's true. I wonder if we had, if we had gone on the other route, if we could have talked to... Oh, I can't remember his name. The dude that we messed up with last time. I wonder if we could have talked to him. Do you find these places you go welcome you? Arms open. You can't always trust a smile. 
I've learned, over and over. I wondered the more I mistrusted. Was it my fault? But it often has nothing to do with you. Not personally. Remember that. Will do. You hear out Klaus's vague musings about the state of society, but lending her an ear doesn't prompt any specifics, just pleasant agreement. Uh, okay. I mean, that still works. That's better than nothing. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and take the chatter card and switch it out for a regular card. And there we go. Okay. Oh, hi, Alexis. Oh, <laughs> you are also a peddler of salty snacks. I, I think I see where uh, Klaus's, you know, supply went. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll go talk to Alexis then. A nut merchant motions for you to join them beneath a colorful umbrella adorned with tulips. They speak in hushed, conspiratorial tones. What unusual sales pitch is this? Okay. Did you quite literally steal Klaus's supply? Maybe. I should warn you, Traveler, the company you keep. Yes, I refer to Klaus, if that's even her true name. What's wrong with Klaus? She seems fine. She seems legit. No, you? Not so much. <laughs> okay, just based off first impressions. Maybe you can tell us a bit more about yourself and why we should trust what you have to say? She has stolen from me before, and others. I can't blame her, since my nuts are the very best. Oh, so she stole your supply. How does that work? I don't know. I guess maybe you can, like... Couldn't you report that or something? I don't know. Maybe there's no one to report it to in this town. Speaking of nuts, I've heard they can prevent misfortune. And look at what I have here. Okay. Uh, let me see. Well, they would, you know, stop the misfortune of not having enough supplies in our store. That would be nice. Uh, ba 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 you do have some triangle cards left, so let's go ahead and do this. And you can do that. And then we have the chatter card. So I'll try to figure out something to do with that. Cashews, almonds, pecans. My poor naive friend. I have every nut that still grows in this dying world, roasted to perfection. Okay. This is definitely an interesting sales pitch. If there's anyone you can trust in Clifton, it's me. I'd never lie to someone so precious. Okay, if you're gonna call me that, <laughs> that's definitely setting off some red flags. That's definitely setting off alarm bells. Okay, getting some Schmeagle vibes from you. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And then... Do I want to use the Accommodate card? I guess so, because you still have a Triangle card. There we go. Okay. I'm still not sure if I'm going to take your word over Klaus's. I guess maybe the next time we come into town we can talk to Klaus and be like, do you guys actually like share, you know, air quotes around share <laughs> your supplies with each other? I have but one motivation, providing the finest roasted nuts around. Have some. Okay. You thank Alexis for all their help. Whether you believe them isn't important, it's clear they only share such information on the condition of gratitude. Hmm. Okay. Still not sure what to glean from that. Uh, but... I think... Uh, I don't know what to do. I, I don't think. I know. I know I don't know what to do. Um, because... I don't want to switch out... My double circle card? For a double triangle? I don't want to switch out my double circle card at all. But at the same time, all my other cards have, like, abilities. Or it's, like, a really good card and I don't want to lose that card. Um, yeah. I think... I think I'm just gonna have to switch out my double circle card for a double triangle card. Or no, that's true. I do have two... No, I don't. I thought I had two cards that were double triangles and both had the chatter ability. But I do have two cards that has the chatter ability, so I'd rather get rid of one of those. Let's do that. Okay. Well, on that note, now that we're done in Clifton, I'm going to leave this episode here. And uh, I guess in the next episode, we'll head to Buckamboro. Uh, are we going to be able to meet up with the caravan there? We're a few days ahead. So maybe we can stay in a town or something and wait for the caravan to catch up. Because from here on out, I would prefer to be with the caravan. 
I don't know. Either way, we'll figure it out in the next episode because I do want to do one more episode. And uh, yeah, we'll see what else happens on the road. But that is going to be it for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye.